Okay, so my experiment, you're gonna have to, you know, keep track with me here because I'm gonna throw the Daphnia in. There it is right there. Maybe it looks better that way. There's actually one swimming around. See there? Two of them in there in the green water. This is the free green water they sent me. So I think this water right here is green enough. So I'm actually gonna put a little bit in here with the green water. That's the overflow. Well, of course, I'm gonna have to get that underneath there. That's the overflow. I'm gonna put Daphne in there and hopefully culture some in there. This is overflowing really fast, so I gotta slow that down. It's nowhere gonna be nowhere near that fast. But that's where I'm putting the majority of the Daphne in, and then some of it in here. And I'm just going willy nilly, and we're gonna see what's gonna happen, all right? But I'm gonna put the Daphne in, I'm gonna separate it there, there, and there, and then I'm gonna do one more video later on tonight, and then we'll go from there, all right? Bye. Okay, I put the Daphnia and the green water. I'll show you the setup here. I, did, I, I just wanted more room, more filter material, more stuff to filter for this big tote right here. So that's why I had that, and I had a lot of extra excess filter material. So I filled this back up with filter material, and I'm still gonna actually buy more to put in there. Same airlift water pump, pumping from the bottom into here. I drilled holes so you don't get too much air bubbles. I dropped some Daphnia in there and some live plants in there, okay? It's actually overflowing from the top down into here. I just got it going all the way in because I did it really fast so I didn't uh, want to cut it, take too much time. I just got a trickle in there. See the trickling going on in there? I adjust that every now and then. This was actually just the overflow to filter it, to clear it out. So if I want to drain it, I can actually put an elbow on here to drain it somewhere else. But when you have these biofilters, I mean, they get really rancid in the bottom of them. So sometimes I do open them up to get the bottom cleared out and leave the biological and the medium part. Now the tote right here has a piece that goes all the way to the bottom. And that's actually what overflows into here. And it's just a bucket. Now if the Daphnia overflow off the top, that's their own damn problem. They should actually be able to swim to the bottom, but there's green water right there. So it's not a complete closed system. For the most part, it's a closed system. Although the overflow for the bucket overflows, you know, kind of to the side. Don't mind this crap over here. I'm actually getting rid of this. That was a waterfall into a pond last year, but I didn't put it back up. Anyways, I wanted to show you the system. Now I'll come back probably tomorrow or the day after tomorrow with this Daphnia to see if any of this cleared up. But see there's green right there, green right there, and green right there. I'm really not anticipating this one to clear up too much because this actually has the fish in it. And now they say that the fish actually eat the Daphnia. So we'll see if that happens. But Daphnia produces, what, 10 babies every 10 days. So if they stay alive in here, this actually should clear up. And if they stay alive in there, I want to put some more probably in here. You know, and like I said, to hopefully at some point balance it out where I can have it clear right when the Daphnia dies off. I don't know. This is my theory. I'm going with it. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye. Let's go down. I just wanted to finish up this video real quick, just for today. Um, you put these, uh, what the hell are they, Daphnia in here. And can't, all them little spots you see on the side are Daphnia. So they, they are living still, they're swimming all around in there. Now this is, believe it or not, this is green water. And it was a lot more greener when I put them in early this morning. And now you can see like almost all the way to the bottom of it. And it's going to be constant green water in there. Now I did put some in here, but I don't know how much went in there. And that's green water, but I still got a trickle in there. It's green water still, but I know there's going to be a crap ton that I would need in there to clean up that green water. But in the filter that I had here, the water's actually clear. A whole lot, really clear. But also one neat thing that I wanted to show you was... Look in the filters, the sponges. I'm gonna have to do it during the day. There's brown worms that came back on the sponges. Brown worms, and those actually filter the water really good. And then the water is really, really, really clear. A lot of that greenness went away. So uh, I would venture to say, I'd venture to say that the Daphne is working, but uh, this is my big one that I want to get uh, a lot of the uh, green water, get rid of the green water. But you see in there and in here, Within one day to Daphne, I put it in. Like I put it in early, then over here, the water's like almost clear already. But they should still stay living in there and in here because the airlift water pump is pumping into here. 
and then th this tote is overflowing into there so green water is still going in there and in here all right so that's my outlook on daphne i'm gonna come back in about a week and we'll see what it looks like all right bye what's going on traps 2323 here i just want to finish up right here it's about a week later since i put the daphne in my tote the uh, water fleece and if you can see right here well for one i don't know if you can see the water's clear see the fish crystal clear the water's clear with the daphne this one right here actually overflowed so but still the water's crystal clear and in here in my filter look how clear that water is remember this was green water you couldn't even see in it you couldn't even see the uh, uh see the bottom or you couldn't see any of the fish and now you can see the fish crystal clear so the daphne really cleared up the green water i don't know to tell you the truth i can't see if there's any living or not but i put some in the biofilter that i made right here so the biofilter has really got you know the little bit of bubble there i got duckweed in there and so there was some in the biofilter i put some in here and i put some just in there to see if it would clear the bucket out and really that bucket was cleared within i say 10 hours and this right here still is crystal clear so i don't know if the daphne is the only reason why everything's crystal clear but before i put the daphne in here uh the water fleece it was really green really green water so everything's clear and looks really good so i'd say yeah i i, I really swear by uh, daphne and now also i wanted to show you this my duckweed that is amazing it is amazing how fast duckweed grows right now walmart got the little kids pools the plastic ones i sell for five bucks i'm gonna pick one up to get more duckweed another place i got duckweed growing is i put a little 10 gallon tank here to see if the duckweed was going to grow and i threw some guppies in here and yes the duckweed is really growing right here the crazy thing with duckweed is if you see it evaporating you see the kind of duckweed dying around the end so you want to fill it with water don't just leave it believe me it'll just leave it sit there and it'll just look like it's kind of fermenting and just fill in all right just wanted to end that video with that all right bye